Hi there, I'm Phil Kent with Microvision, lead electrical engineer on our consumer LiDAR products line. So you're watching this video probably because you're in possession of one of our fantastic Explorer Edition engines that's going to let you integrate 3D vision into your end product. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how to uh, take this unit, integrate it with uh, our starter kit. If you're not ready to put it into a product, this starter kit will let you uh, plug in, get uh, some data out over USB real quick, and start uh, running some tests, experimenting, and see how this is going to work for you. So without further ado, let's dive into this, open up these boxes, I'll put it together for you, and then we'll get on to the firmware software and, uh, and some of the demonstration tools that we have already available for you. All right, let's first take a look at our Explorer Edition engine here. Open this up. We've got a quick start guide, as well as the sensor. Note that this is a class one laser product. You want to take a quick look here at page one of the user guide. Cautions and warnings. Um, to familiar, familiarize yourself with uh, laser related uh, precautions there. Okay. And there is our sensor. So unless you've already designed a custom product to build this into, uh, this isn't going to be much use to you until you uh, have a way to access the data. And that is where our starter kit comes in. Let's take a look at that. All right, our starter kit has got uh, a quick start guide. It's going to be a little quick how-to on how to put together, which I'll demonstrate and fast forward here for you. We've also got a USB cable. Let's see, there's a power supply. We have a hardware kit with screwdriver and uh, several screws. Here's our data conversion board. So this is what's going to do the job of taking uh, data out of the sensor and providing it to you in an easy-to-use uh, USB interface uh, and get you up and running real quick. And then we've got uh, a base plate. Uh, this is what uh, the Explorer Edition is going to get mounted onto. Some nice features here. Here are the quarter 20 uh, mount for tripod, uh, as well as optical bench uh, mounting holes here. And last but not least is our optional fan assembly. Uh, depending on what uh, target application uh, you're using this for and what kind of uh, system you're, you're tying into, um, you may choose to use this or not. Uh, you might be thermally controlling your unit. Or um, if you just want to get going with some quick testing, you can optionally put this one on there and it'll just take care of uh, uh, optimizing performance for you. All right, let's put this thing together. Note the nice custom silk screen microvision screwdriver. Impress all your friends. All right, first thing I'm going to do typically is take the sensor and uh, we want to put it on the base plate. There are three holes uh, that will mount to the base plate corresponding right here. Lines up right along the front edge there, pretty square. I tend to do this on its side because it stands uh, fairly well, holds itself up. And take our shortest screws and insert them into the bottom. Without dropping them. Okay, there we go. Alright, there we are. Now we want to take our data conversion board. This has two mating connectors right here. They're going to line up with these two connectors, as well as the four mounting holes in the corners will obviously line up with the four mounting holes below, and that'll just click right into place pretty easily. A nice uh, tactile snap to it. And these longer screws, I'm just going to drop in these two corners only two necessary.
And then finally, if you're attaching the fan assembly, that's going to go onto this side of these two holes, just like so. There we go. And this will plug in right into there. Click. And we're done. All right, let's get this powered up. DC power. I'm going to hook USB to my laptop. And right in there. Now you'll note that uh, you see a green blinking LED on the side there. That's a good sign. It means everything is working. Now depending on the model you've got, you've either got this LED down on this second layer down or an LED right here on the top side but basically in the same place. Um, in addition you'll notice that this just powered up automatically when I plug the cables in. Uh, some units uh, depending on the model might uh, require the push of this power button on the edge here to toggle power on. In this case I can toggle power off and turn it back on again and again the LED will tell you everything's running. Okay. And then you'll note in the back of the user guide, uh, there is a link to GitHub right here that'll tell you where to get all the tools. So let's go do that right now. All right, here I am on the GitHub site, and you'll see here a folder for the starter kit here, MV2400. Uh, copy the quick start guide, a folder with our uh, visualizer. So everything I'm going to show you here from on out is I'm going to download this zip file. Um, which I've already done, and put it onto unzipped on my desktop here. <clears throat> so, README, useful information, um, drivers, although with Windows 10 you probably won't need drivers for this, but uh, again, this is all documented very well in the uh, user guides. I'm going to go into the apps folder, um, our quad viewer, and here's the quad viewer shortcut at this level, uh, self-executable, let's double click it, and there we go. So it is working. It's that simple. All right, we've started up our quad viewer, and now I'm joined by Henry, our consumer LiDAR systems engineer, and he's going to walk us through what we're seeing. Yes, we've included this LiDAR viewer to help you explore the device capabilities, and here we're seeing uh, four views of the LiDAR data. Phil's now entering the scene. You're going to see four copies of them here. Uh, in the upper left, we see uh, our color map view. Um, the color is proportional to depth, and so you can see Phil's color change as he moves forward and back in the scene. Um, in the upper right, we have our intensity uh, data view, and uh, this is uh, not depth related, but it is included in the uh, LiDAR stream. In the lower left, we have a top-down view. Uh, here you can clearly see the walls as bright bands, and you can see uh, the people in the scene distinctly separate from each other in the walls. And in the lower right, you have uh, sort of a tilt perspective. Again, it's the same depth data that you see in the other two depth quadrants. Um, all this shows that you can easily manipulate the data coming out of the device, and uh, present it for display or processing. Uh, we've included the source code for this viewer. Um, it's only about 200 lines of uh, Python and OpenCV. Uh, it's easy to modify and you can use it to prototype your LiDAR processing concepts. All this is part of the starter kit, now available on GitHub. If you have questions about using the starter kit, please contact us by email at customerservice at microvision.com. Thank you for watching.